Welcome ladies and gents to Galora Buncano Stadium. Now you're probably wondering where on earth that is. Well, for those of you who didn't watch the last episode, this is in Indonesia. We are here of course for our Asian Confederation Cup final second leg against Persija Jakarta. But before we crack on with today's game, we do of course have some league games to catch up on as well as the first leg. Okay ladies and gents, kicking off this six game catch up, well first of all I'd just like to point out I'm really confused by the summary bit, I don't know why there's not enough data considering well we're near the back end of the season, what on earth is going on with Football Manager right now, who on earth knows, but well, my team decided to make things rather interesting in this first game. As we took on Parak, as you can see, 10 minutes in, Ashri decided to get himself sent off. Decided to, you know what, we've got too many men, let's just play 10 versus 11. And well, we still managed to pick up a victory in this one, surprisingly, 2-0 in the end. 10 shots to their 3, 5 on target to their 1. We were dominant, and yet we was missing a complete player. Absolutely great job from Zamri, as you can see, grabbed himself a brace, goals on the 15th and 41st minute to take us into the half 2 0, where it stayed that way. Then, with our title secured, we headed away to Kadir for a game which I thought personally was going to be a rather difficult one, but in the end, it finished much like the prior game 2 0. This time, we did actually manage to keep all 11 players on the pitch. So, we got goals from Safari on the 48th minute, and then a second one from Suhaini on the 75th of course, assisted by Hakim. Our next game on paper sounded a rather fun and interesting one to watch. Unfortunately though, we'd already sealed the title and thus it was a rather dull affair. Of course, first versus second, we were taking on Pahang away from home. And well, we were just rather wasteful in this one. 11 shots to their 5, but only 2 on target compared to their 2 on target. We need to shoot a lot better going forward. As you can see, Zamri got the opening goal on the 52nd minute. They equalised through Halim on the 63rd but in the end it was a rather dull 1-1 draw. After murdering the entire league there was only one team we could really verse at the end of the season and that was the Royal Malaysian Police Force. Now as you can see they grabbed a little bit of payback early on 15 minutes in grabbing themselves an opener and even injuring Safari 23 minutes in but we wasn't going down without a fight. No we grabbed ourselves two goals before half time. Firstly through Raman on the 39th minute and a 42nd minute effort from Corbin on to grab us a 2-1 victory we also had a missed effort from Tuck on the 78th minute thankfully though didn't really matter as you can see most of the team played pretty well Safari and Ayimbala Santa you had a rough time in goal and Lowry and a couple of the subs as well didn't have a great time but for the most part we didn't do too bad after a run of league games and a run of rather poor shooting, well, we continued that as we headed into the Asian Confederation Cup. Thankfully, it was slightly better against Percy Jack, as you can see. We did manage to get six on target out of 14, admittedly, but we did manage to improve just slightly on our shooting. Still rather dismal, as you can see. The team as a whole was playing pretty well. It was just Lowry on his 6.1. Did any subs struggle? No, our subs didn't even really struggle. It was Lowry on his 6.1. So we could have probably grabbed a few more goals in this one if we were on top form But you know what a simple 1-0 victory thanks to Hakeem in this 28th minute We did have a bit of a knock to Mansour on the 89th But a 1-0 victory heading over to Indonesia not too shabby our final catch-up game saw us head into the Malaysian Cup and well this was a group game kicking off our group stage at home against Malacca a team we should definitely be beating well we did a very simple 3-0 victory in this one as you can see Tuk Tuk grabbed himself a couple of goals one just before half time one just after and then Cabrera put the icing on the cake on 90 plus one Musa on a 6.3 really needs to do a little bit better but as you can see I was resting quite a few players Players up. Mauricio, a little bit disappointed in him, only on a 6.6, .6. but in the end we grabbed ourselves a victory and we've started off our group campaign rather nicely. Okay, so with our giant game catch up out of the way, well, we've got a giant notebook full of stuff here as well, so we're going to fly through this, or at least attempt to fly through it. First of all, Cabrera breaks the goal record. He's got himself 14 goals this season, breaking the previous record of 12. We then have him scooping the golden boot award for the league that's 
that has him beating Kisimbo, who finished second behind him, not too shabby, especially considering Cabrera is basically just our league player for this season and is of course retiring at the end of it as well. Sets new average rating record, he grabbed himself an 8.16 in the league he's been absolutely amazing also grabbed himself the player of the match award he got 10 of those in this past season champions southern tigers complete the trouble we of course completed the trouble when we grabbed the league title we had the double from the last episode but that confirms our trouble we then have we've been given the oh best team in the super league well obviously we was the best team we won the league what else would we have been? Anyways, players named in the Super League Team of the Year. Now, most of the team, I believe, eight of your players were selected, including the likes of Malias, Mauricio, and Colonda, Cabrera. We've got Azri were selected in the substitutes as well. We also set a new gate receipt record. That was for the previous game against Persija, who, of course, we are versing today. That was 120,000. We managed to make in gate receipts for that one. Team of the year bonuses there's a few players apparently it's not going to tell me in this message we're not going to go searching for it some players have team of the year bonuses i think it's like three or four of them had big bonuses for that register plays for the latter stages of the asian confederation cup so i made some tweaks to our team for the asian confederation cup santa claus of course has to come into the lineup that meant i removed a yimbala a yimbala the guy who said well i don't care about cup competitions well i took you out of the big cup competition the only competition we've got left because well you said you don't like cup competitions so you're out brought in santa claus and well cabrera unfortunately couldn't find a way of registering him for someone else other options it just didn't feel right to take them out so we then have Malias he's set to retire now so Malias is designed to hang up his boots thankfully we decide to get Santa Claus in we then have Corbin Ong he picked up a pulled groin in that Kadir game we're not gonna dilly dally on that too much Lowry picked up a yellow card limit we also have Hakim he got the most promising player award um, Mansour, he picked up an injury for six to seven weeks against Besiege. That was a sprained knee ligament. Ouch. That was on the 89th minute, if I remember correctly, as well. That's really bad timing. Safari's injury, he picked that up against PDRM, a twisted ankle. Record attendance broken for Joe Hall. That was, of course, in the Besiege game where we got the gate receipt record as well 32,907 breaking the breaking breaking the previous record of 20,396 set against the Heyangakara okay probably butchered that but it's okay Hong Wan also picked up an injury against Pasija that was a bruised shin for a couple of days Super League award winners okay so we had most of the candidates in these and the only guy who wasn't our player probably was by the fact that I also voted for this guy. So, the only guy who wasn't our player won the most valuable local player, which was a fizzle. But Cabrera grabbed the best foreign player, the best pop the most popular player, sorry, the best Southeast Asian player as well. Super League Awards, um, Okay, goalkeeper of the year went to our goalkeeper, Malias. We have Kalonda, defender of the year. Halim, of course got midfielder of the year and Hakim got the striker of the year as well. Suspended Mauricio is out for the Confederation Cup final. We then have me. I've been entered into the Hall of Fame here in Malaysia in my very first season. But enough rambling from me. I'm going to remove all these. We're going to hold our nice little team talk and I will see you fine folks over at the stadium in just a second. Okay, ladies and gents, we finally made our way over to the stadium. And as you can see, there is 73,641 tickets, which have been sold from the 77,193 capacity stadium here today. 31 degrees Celsius, it is calm. And a perfect pitch condition here today. So we are going to apply those opposition instructions. We're suggested to go from positive to a balanced. Considering we're away from home and it was only a 1-0 win at home, you know what, I will take that suggestion. There is is also one other little issue and that in fact is an injury to our team so as you can see say 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 yaddy don't know why his name wouldn't fit my brain say has picked up an injury i believe it was food poisoning 
He's out for three days. Yep, food poisoning two to three days with that. So he's going to be out of our lineup. So who is going to replace him? I think Raman is probably the one we bring in here. So Raman to go on the bench, which means our team here today. Of course, he's Santa Claus in goal. The back line of Corbin on Kalonda and Eldstal. We then have in midfield Samara on the left. Hanapi on the right. Don't know why I would say Samara on the right. I think it's because we do use him over there quite a bit. In the middle, Hong Wan and Krasniki. We then have Agyakwa sitting behind Hakim and Zamri. Our bench consists of Malias, Musa, Ishak, Raman, Azri, Suhaini and Tuck. As you can see today, I am going to be struggling with some names, but without further ado, let's go have a little cheeky chat. Okay, first of all, sorry if you can hear the helicopter in the background. I believe it's landing near the hospital, which is rather nearby, so I can't really do a whole lot about that. I apologise for the emergency. I guess that's going on. Anyways, in terms of our team talk here today, how are we going to go about it? Are we going to go very assertive or are we going to punch fist motivate lads? I think we're going for the punch fist. We usually do go quite assertive with them, but today I think we're going to punch fist, get a bit of motivation into them. It was a close game, like I previously said in that first one. So, you know, we've, we've been on a good run lately, so go out there and impress me. It's okay. Didn't go too great, did it? Anyways, as you can see, lovely stadium here today and up front, you might have noticed, yes, we are taking on Dave Batista. Well, actually, I don't know if his name is actually Dave, but I'm going to think of him as Dave Batista. So we might get Batista bombed here today. Let's try and avoid that for certain. We are going to move to their formation. They are, of course, using the most OP tactic in the entire game, the 4-2-3-1, the tactic we would never use, would we? Hmm. No, of course. I love this formation. I absolutely love it. It's way too good though. Way too good. I wish it wasn't as good as it is, but it's like a cheat code. Really is like a cheat code for formations. If you're struggling in FM, honestly run a 4231 and just try and get players that fit that 4231. Trust me, it'll work. It shall work out rather well for you. It doesn't particularly matter how bad you are. You can steal my formation and it will probably help you out. But, as you can see, the first half of today's game has been rather dull. Nil, nil. We've had three shots, they've had 12. Okay. Okay, I think we need to be a bit more assertive. Point at them. Our shooting has not been good enough. You need to improve in front of goal. Hakim. Hakim. I know you're on a 6-9. Don't get demotivated. You know what, Hakim? You weren't that bad, I believe in you. You can still improve though. I have faith in you. I have faith in you, Akin. Don't get all moody with me just because I said the team is shooting badly. I clearly wasn't on about the guy on a 6.8 now. Was on a 6.9, I believe, at the time. Come on, we need a highlight. Give us a highlight game. Come on. We're up to substitution time and we haven't had a single highlight. This it's gonna be a rather dull episode, isn't it? It's gonna be more about me stumbling on players' names than actually getting to see anything, which is a bit of a shame. So, we are going to make a substitute. We are going to take off our left-hand sided player. Asri, I guess, is the guy we go for. Yeah. So, we're going to move Asri over there. Chris Niki is on a yellow card. Who is struggling the most? Ong. Okay. Do I really trust Musa enough to bring him in in this game, though? That is the question, because he is going to be one-third of that defense. If I bring him in, Chris Niki is on a 6-6 six, six and a yellow card. Hmm. What could we... You know what? Agiakwa, Suhaimi is solid in that position, so we'll do that. Double sub. Keep hold of the other one. Kalonda's now tired, but Kalonda's having a great game. We can't really take off Kalonda. He is in the heart of our defense and holding on to this lead. So Agyakwa plays it up to Suaimi. Suaimi through to Zamri. Zamri finds Hakim. Can Hakim do anything with this? Get a nice cross in, Hakim. You, know, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, he's trapped, pulling it back for Azri. It's intercepted, cleared away, but thankfully Kalonda's in the center circle to collect it now. Up to Hong Wan. He found Suaimi. Suaimi finds Hakim. Nice pass. Asri, Asri can get through the defense, shoot from range. Ooh, it's ball through to Hakim. Oh, just a bit higher, just a little bit higher, Hakim. And that's in. Come on, Asri. Big delivery here. Right hand side, whips it in. Oh, and the goalkeeper just runs out. 
grabs it. I came. Unfortunately, our better players are the ones that are the most tired. Right, we've got seven minutes remaining in this game. Let's have a little look at our fitness. In fact, no, go back to that way. So struggling, Ong is on a 6-3. Tired and struggling, though, is Elstal on a 6-6. Six, six. Mm. Hanapi is also having a rough one, and Ag Yakwa. Mm. Who can go on this right-hand side? No one. Absolutely no one. Well, Hanapi, you're just going to have to suck it up. Agiaqua. Okay, we've got Musa and Tuck. I guess we do need to bring on Musa. Now, the question is, do we go Ong or Eldstal? Because Eldstal's tired. You know what? No, we'll hold on. Because I'm worried with all these tired players that someone's going to pull up with an injury. So we'll just hold on to the sub. Hopefully they can all last it out. Agiaqua, we've got a minute left. That was a poor time to get rid of the ball. They have the ball now with Batista. Batista plays a ball through to this right-hand side. He finds Saimimia. Oh, no. I was struggling trying to pronounce that guy's name. Whilst they were busy getting the shot off, thankfully, in an offside position. So, 10 seconds remain in this one. Santa Claus, don't deliver them a present, and we should be all good, because... They shouldn't be able to do a whole lot in 10 seconds. It's a ball shot to Eldstal. Back to Santa. Santa hoops it up. And ladies and gents, I don't know how, but we've come away with a nil, nil draw in this one. I apologize for the lack of highlights in this. This was a really dull match. But I thank you all for joining us. Hopefully you join us for the next episode where we shall be heading into the Malaysian Cup. I'm not quite sure where we're going. Probably pro tap away. But... You'll have to join us in the next one to find out exactly where we end up in the next episode. But again, I thank you all for joining us in this one. Hopefully you enjoyed the rest of your week and goodbye.